Hey, so these are the three things you're going to need for your Axe Effects 3. Um, you can Google all this too. You're going to need an Axe Edit 3. You're going to need FractalBot. Both of these are from the Fractal website. This I got from Sweetwater while browsing for free um, MIDI's for this. The MIDI-OX. But I went directly to Sweetwater um, if you Google it. So I know it's safe because it's it's from their website. It's a link from their website. So MIDI OX. And here's what happens if you want to download something. If you just click on it down here, this bunch of zeros and stuff is going to pop up. If you did this, you messed up, but it's an easy fix. Instead, what we want to do is when we click to download, we are going to right click and click show in folder. This is going to show you what we downloaded, the amp that we downloaded. Now, if you downloaded the uh, the MIDI software correctly, you're gonna notice these little symbols, these little um, trouble notes. Um, and you're going to right click, you're gonna cut. And I made myself a folder. You can make it whatever, I called it the fractal folder. And then you right click, drop it in here. All right, so you've now gotten your first download patch from wherever. Right now I'm at, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, but CamilloValendia.com. He's got some free stuff and he encourages to donate. All right, so lots of free downloads here. All right, so we got our download. And again, if you do not download the MIDI aux first, this is not going to work. So then we're going to go into FractalBot, which I already have running, so I'm just going to open this one. Very important here. You're going to go into send mode if you want to send this to your amp. Receive mode is where the computer receives something you created from your amplifier. Same thing, you want to create your own folder and all that. Uh, anyway, going back to send mode. So, pick your right thing. You have to get this right, or it's not going to work. So, I have just the normal XFX3 connected. Here, this is all that's going to show up if you just have it connected by USB straight into your computer. XFX3 MIDI in. Click that. MIDI out, same thing. Don't click the Microsoft GS wavetable. XFX MIDI out. Choose file. Okay. So I can pick any one of these files. Um, they'll all have like those music note symbols on it that MIDI aux converts them to. So then I'll just click on something. And then I'll click send. Transfer complete. Your preset has been sent to the edit buffer, the XFX3. Um, so that's going to send it to, now it's in my fractal, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. See, it says Milo Baseman. Um, before that, it didn't say that. And I'm going to do that one more time just to give you an idea. So instead of Baseman, let's do AC30. Uh, send. I'm going to come over here. I know it worked because look, now it says AC30. So, that is how you send files. Again, you need those three things. Receive mode is I want to save something to my computer so I can share it with others. So, um, I haven't made anything yet. Okay, here we go. So I chose where to receive files. Um, fractal, whatever. Begin. So this works the same way. So now we're on this screen. And I want to deselect all because I don't want to send everything. Unless you are wanting to send everything. But if you're just wanting to send something you made up and you back an individual preset then you're going to look on your um, amp in this case i can see that it says 
number 41 or 041. So I would put in 041. Or you can do backup current preset in the buffer. And then it's going to send it to that folder. So now if I go back in my fractal folder, it should be in here. Yeah, it saved it, but the thing is, it was already in there. <laughs> so, just showing you how that works if you want to also share a patch that you made. And same thing up here, pick the right fractal that you have, pick the right inputs that you have. But you're most likely going to be using this one more. Because you're a receiver, not a giver. Just kidding. Be both. Be a giver. Um, if you make good stuff. Axe Edit 3. Totally different thing. This is not going to run if you have Fractal active. So I first need to close my Fractal. <laughs> fractal Bot. Axe Edit 3. If you do not have this, you're going to hate your fractal. This is the easiest way to get started by far. Because instead of tweaking all the knobs and studying the manual of how did I go here, go there. This is so much quicker and I'll show you why. See this it says presets here. So I'm going to go to presets. And this is every preset. And instead of me scrolling the knob endlessly, I can just go all the way to the end. So, and and get a get a really cool sound. So, I'll I'll show you. Right now, it's on a fairly clean uh, channel, so it's like. and clean and then I can go to this so that's what your presets for just saves you a little Shortcut. And then if I don't like how the amp sounds, let's go back to this distorted one. If I want more gain, I'll I'll click on the amp here. And then you have all kinds of presets, but the gain if I want more, or if I want less, and so it's a great way to edit. You can pick what cab you want. You can go over here and right click and I can throw in any type of pedal I want over here but let's just do overdrive um, let's see. Pretty cool. So this is with it off. Double click with it on. Um, do, do, do. So over here you have type, and obviously they changed the name so they don't have to pay these companies like Max Off 808 instead of you know on. Uh, tone of Keens instead of King of Tone. <laughs> this one's alright. So 
So we're gonna click on this one. Not much to it. I really like that tape one. Tape distortion. That one's great. Sorry, I have a cold. Oh man, that sounds good. Now, if you're starting from scratch, which is what this one is, um, I always use the matchless amps on here. They're just the best for clean and slightly dirty. You, you always got to right click and put in an input. And then you got to go over anywhere at the end of your chain and right click and pick output. And obviously just do the one to begin with to keep it simple. Um, and then you're going to drop in your amp, which I already did. And you're driving all that. Of course, if you want to be lazy, you could just go to something that's already here. And I always do the matchless. I just don't, I don't like much of the other settings. But to save time, let's go to the first one. 59 base guy. If everything's up to date, this is as of um, April 19th, 2023. If everything's up to date, 59 base guy is going to be your first preset. So this already has my input. It already has my output. It already has my reverb. And then if I want, I can click on amp and change my amp to uh, whatever. Let's just pick this. Versus what it originally was. Uh, well, for that, let's just go up one and go back. So push up on the preset push back. If you did not save it, it will go back to all the presets that it was before. So there's just the normal bass guy. See, changed it back. No worries, no harm done. However, let's say that I liked the amp that I changed or cab, whatever. All you gotta do is click save up here and it'll, it'll save it to that preset. So that's how you do that. Um, the scenes are kind of like the the different. Oh, let me think about this. So, like with your Line Six Pod Go, it'd be like A B C D, and you can set A or A B C D all to the same amp if you wanted to. So your scenes are all based on um, this amp currently. You can obviously edit and make scene to a different amp if you wanted to. But as it stands default, your preset amp is going to be the amp on all your scenes. So all these are going to have the bass guy for the amplifiers. You can see right there. And ugh, that's with the reverb off. So crunch, uh, cranked bright. Um, jumped. So, you get the idea. I don't think if there's anything else I want to show you. That's it. This is just to get you started. This is just to get you on your way. Um, bass metal trouble. Go back to one. Ugh. Last thing I'm going to show you. I promise. So you see these, uh, this is your EQ down here where the tone is. Obviously I can turn up my bass and it actually works. Just play open and you'll especially hear the difference in treble. I don't like a whole lot of treble. I do like a good bit of bass. That's how you get started. Download X Edit 3 from Fractal. And come on, you know how to use Google. So use Google, look up Fractal, 
then use Axe Edit 3. Use Download Fractal Bot. And like I said, use, go to Sweetwater's actual website. And they have some kind of link to this MIDI aux. I'm sure if you Google Sweetwater slash MIDI aux or something, it'll come up. But you cannot use this program without some kind of MIDI converter. It, it will not let you. It'll just read it as like a README file. So you have to have that before you can use anything. Hope this helps. Have a good day. Bye-bye. One final thought. If you like what you have made customly and you want to save it, but you don't want to save it where it is, you want to make something else, you'll click to, you'll go to preset and click on save to new preset number. You click on that. Scroll all the way to the right. I already filled this up with my own stuff, but anyway, you'll see like this empty patches. So I can click 465 or whatever. Click save. Are you sure you want to save? Yes, please. So see, now that's on 465, but I did not affect the preset 000 that it was on before. So there you go.